Welcome to day five in our international global fast for our Every Nation family. And by now, you're probably celebrating. You're already thinking of how you're going to break this fast. And I hope you're breaking this fast very wisely. And I hope you're breaking this fast in a spiritual way. But also by now, I hope you're having incredible answer to some of the prayers, personal prayers, the things that you've been interceding and believing God for your personal life, for your family, for your church family, and for your nation. Now, in this day five, we're meditating on Ephesians 6, verse 13, and it says this, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to, and here's the big word, key word for us, withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. I'm a beach guy. I love going to the beach. And that's why, probably why we live in Florida. I love the water. And uh, many times, even that we live in Florida, we should be vacationing somewhere else, but I love vacationing on the beach. So many of our vacations on the beach, in particular one vacation, and I know this in the summer in Florida, it's very hot. And if I'm on the beach when it's very hot, I better put some sunscreen and, you know, do my, uh, traditional routine how I'm gonna go in the sun. I got lazy that afternoon and my wife kept asking, are you gonna go to the water? Are you gonna go to the water? It's gonna get, it's gonna start raining. If we're gonna go, you better go. So I got a little lazy and I was in a staycation mode. So I wanna stay in the condo instead of going to the beach. But I decided I'm just gonna put my hat on, put my sunglasses on. I'm not gonna worry about sunscreen for the day. I'm gonna be under the umbrella. It's gonna be short before we come back. Well, to my greatest surprise, we went to the beach. I didn't really feel much uh, of a sunburn or anything. And by the time I came back to the condo, I noticed something. The back of my legs were burnt, seriously burnt. And it's not like the sun of the whole cosmos it says, do you see that Egyptian boy on the beach in Florida? Now let's aim at the back of his legs and burn the daylight out of him. It was not like that. But the truth was this, the part that I have armor on was protected. The parts of my body that was not armed or protected was exposed, was attacked. Many of us would think the enemies after us in particular, and many people think, oh, Satan is Satan, is this, Satan is this. But the truth is this, we see here that the whole book of Ephesians is how to live the spirit-filled life in a practical way. So we find our identity in Christ Jesus, then we moved very quickly how practically to live the spirit-filled life in every aspect of life, from family, husband and wife, children, bosses, slave and, and, and masters, then the church structure. So Paul covered the whole thing, how to live the spiritual life, in practical way. Now here, chapter 6 is his final world, how he's closing this out, and he's saying this, finally, he said, finally, therefore, take up the whole armor of God. The truth is this, God have provided a full armor. Now here's the truth, and this is what we must meditate on. This is not a war that you fight on your own. This is a war that's already been conquered on the cross. The power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that operates in me and you. And Jesus has conquered sin, the wages of sin, and overturned the whole thing because he has won the war. Now, the truth is this. Focus on the victory that is already yours. Many people say Christians are defeated because they don't know how to fight. It's not your fight. You're not supposed to fight. However, we're supposed to show up to the battle and declare our victory that Jesus already won for us. So having our armor on, therefore take up the whole armor of God. So the only thing that you're instructed to do is to put the full armor on you and now you take a stand and you take a stand firm. In any fight, the person that run declared defeat. In this walk with Jesus and every day from this day forward in 2018, 
you're taking the stand every day. It doesn't matter if it's a bad doctor report. It doesn't matter if it's a financial crisis. It doesn't matter if it's a situation with your kids. You take the stand claiming the truth of the Word of God because part of the armor of God is buckling yourself with the truth. Now, I want to pray for you that as we finish this fast, that we are victorious every day, not because you can fight on your own, but because the armor of God that we've been taking it on because of what Jesus has done for us is greater than any battle you face. Let's pray together as we conclude this incredible time of fast and consecration as we present ourselves in 2018 blameless before the Lord for what Jesus has done for us. Father God, we thank you for this incredible time of fast as we refocused our life on what it means to be in Christ Jesus. We thank you because when we are in you, there is no power on earth greater than your power. And there is no battle or war that wage against us that we could not handle on our own in your power. Today, in the name of Jesus, I declare that we experience your victory over every battle. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that every prayer request that was set in the beginning of this fast that will experience your miraculous power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.